Hey guys, let's talk about how the song Winds of Dysphoria was made. It all started with this extremely uh, death metal sounding song I was working on. This one was actually so much death metal that it didn't end up on the album because I don't consider Vredaham of being, you know, like a that kind of death metal band, it was almost like like Cannibal Corpse or Deicide or something. But at the very end of this song, I came up with this riff that sounded like this. And so on. And uh, I really liked that particular riff. So uh, the death metal song itself never made it to the album. But this riff of course did and uh, at the same time as I had this riff I also had this uh, synth intro I was working on for my solo project at the time called Valla and it took me quite some time to figure out what to do with both the riff and the synth because it actually took some time until I decided to test how they would sound together and uh, when I finally did it was like there was no doubt this is the start, the synth intro is the start of this song and the riff will be the next thing that happens in this song. I already knew then that this song is going to be really extreme. It's uh, 240 BPM and really fast and uh, very challenging to play on the guitar. But I felt this song needs to be in 240 to actually sound as good as it possibly can do. So. 240 it is. The next riff was one of these riffs that just you know come falling down from the sky. It just came so natural after I had put the, the intro and the first riff together and um, I just knew straight away what to play even though I hadn't really made the riff yet but I knew exactly what it needed to sound like. I also knew that, okay, this is going to be the verse, this will be where I'll be doing the singing. I also felt that, okay, I'm not going to start si singing yet, I want another riff first and then go back to this riff. So I wanted something, uh, you know, a little bit atmospheric and maybe with some black metal feel to it. And that's when I came up with this Keep of Kalesin-ish riff. <laughs> And uh, this riff to me was actually so much like Keep of Kalesin that I actually sent a message to uh, Obsidian C and sent him the song that I had just to make sure that I wasn't actually plagiarizing anything because I, I knew this sounds a lot like Keep of Kalesin and maybe I actually heard it by Keep of Kalesin at some time and now, now I think that I wrote this riff. Uh, but Obsidian C told me this is very much like Keep of Kalesin, but it's definitely not a Keep of Kalesin riff. So, so he of course had no no issues with me using uh, that riff. So the singing starts and uh, back to the verse riff, repeat the Keep of Kalesin riff, do this a couple of times. Then came the middle part and I was a little bit unsure of what to do there, but I knew I wanted to keep the intensity and not take the song down at this moment because I wanted the song to be extremely intense and you know keep the tension as long as possible uh, before it was like really necessary to take it down and that's when after many attempts I came up with this riff. <laughs> And uh, following this riff, I felt, okay, now is the time to take things down a little bit. So that's when I came up with this riff. And this is also one of those that kind of just fell down from the sky, didn't take much time to write it. 
And after playing this riff for a while, with some talking on top of it to make it a little bit dramatic, uh, it's straight back to the first riff and everything starts again. And the first riff has a variation uh, at this second part. So the song was really close to being finished now, but I didn't want to just stop there. I wanted to take it to a little higher level, so I added this harmonized riff at the end that goes basically something like this. And underneath it is just one note ringing all the time. This gives it that dramatic feeling. And at the very end of this riff, I added some tapping shit. Just to add a little bit more intensity to it. If you play it slow, it sounds like this. And at the very end, The other guitar is doing this. The lyrics for this song are inspired by a book, a series of books by Stephen King uh, called The Dark Tower. And uh, there's this one specific book in the series called The Wolves of Kala. And um, I basically took some ideas from what I remembered from that book and kind of mixed it up with my own story about this uh, vigilante guy or just a, some kind of hero that is you know out in the desert and he has to battle off some uh, uh, creatures I don't know if they're aliens or just uh, some kind of hybrid uh, wolf demons from hell I just started with the idea I got from the book and just played with it and in the end I had the lyrics and uh, so yeah I'm, I'm trying to to explain the lyrics but I I find that I'm not gonna do a very good job at it but now you have the, the gist of it so thanks for watching and uh, if you want me to do any other songs uh, how it was made video just let me know i'll i'll hook you up take care bye bye